Alvin, outrage and fear tonight after a notorious road rage convict is released from prison after serving only a fraction of his sentence. His victims spoke up today to say they have lost their faith in the justice system. Chris Wolf, live from the news center with reaction to the controversial news. Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Micah and Cher. Reports say he has a long criminal history spanning nearly two decades and stretching across eight different states. But credit for time served and good behavior means he gets out of prison early here in California. Victims of his violent road rage are now furious and they fear he may try to hurt them again. Hey, sir, you call 911. You may remember the viral road rage clips. A muscular young man in t-shirt and jeans exploding on the freeways of Southern California, jumping out of his car and smashing others with what appears to be a pipe. The violence caught on dashboard and cell phone cameras. 36-year-old Nathaniel Radimack was finally caught and convicted of criminal threats, vandalism, assault and elder abuse. Nicknamed the Tesla road rage driver, a judge sentenced Radimac in October 2023 to five years in prison. But in a surprising turn of events, he is now free 10 months later. I am worried he will try to find the victims whose names have been released. He is a menace to society, and I strongly disagree about his early release. Victims spoke out during a news conference with their attorney, Gloria Allred. They do not want to be identified. I'm here today to share with you my deep frustration and loss of faith in our justice system. Court records show Radimac was given credit for time served and good behavior. Attorney Allred sees a major red flag with his release notice. It says that the community to which he is being released is unknown. So my question is, how can they supervise his parole? if they don't know where he's going to be. The communication with the DA's office has been poor throughout this process. The sentence was cut short. Lenient sentencing and closing jails and early parole releases and parole boards continue to allow perpetrators to walk free after serving just minimal time. Putting a lot of innocent people at risk and sending criminals the wrong message. The district attorney's office sent us a statement, quote, our thoughts are with the survivors who endured the terrifying attacks by Mr. Radimac and are continuing to heal from his senseless actions. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office does not determine when an inmate will be released from custody. This, as well as the notification of victims, is the responsibility of the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Attorney Gloria Allred says this Tesla road rage case demonstrates the need for truth in sentencing laws. Live in the News Center, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Chris, thank you.